Hi, it's Jeff Harrison here at MacroMonster.com. Somebody had an interesting question in the CorelDRAW forums about how to fit a certain amount of images into a fixed amount of space. So the way I would approach it is to think of the basic math. If we had a square here and um, we can get pretty close to getting 10 in there, but if we think of it in terms of 3 by 3, that gets us up to, to 9 images. But to get 10, we would have to move some out of the way to allow for a little bit of extra room. So I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to simply divide this uh, rectangle into uh, 3 here from the top. So I'm going to go up to here, press divide, press 3. So that gives us this size of shape here. I'm going to flip copy over this way one more time. And then what we could do is uh, divide this by 3. So that gives us a shape that size. Flip copy over here, flip copy in the other direction. Um, actually, if I just get rid of that one, move this one down like that, get rid of that, move this down like this. So we've got nine as we talked about there. Uh, but if we were to slide this over, an easy way to do that, by the way, would be to press Alt Z key. That allows you to use your guides to, to you know, slide to the left so that you end up with something like this. And then we could grab two of these and move them over to the right and then scale them so they line up with this edge. So as we can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But if we weld these two together like that, that now gives us um, one, you know, nine plus one is ten. So if we take, I just grabbed some images here, I'm just going to spread them apart. One way to do that is to just move them apart and then press something like Shift A and that'll help spread them out so you can kind of see what you got a little bit better. So I believe I've got 10, ten images here. Just going to select all those. There we go. Zoom in on it and this is where you can get into power clipping those images into each frame. I, there, if you don't know what power clipping is, it's a very powerful tool to fit something into something else specifically uh, a bitmap often into a vector shape like some of these shapes here. So what I often do is I, I, I've actually created a shortcut key to do that but where to find this command is under the object menu uh, power clip place inside frame I assign alt P through the options to do that. So I pick a shape press alt P and it'll force it inside there. So you can see how fast this goes One more little flower there, and to complete complete our idea here. So we've got you know some photos in there real quickly. You can control click on one like this to position it better, scale it so it's it's um, kind of like live cropping or something. You might think of it that way, Just so we can see the flowers a little bit better. Control click away to get out of that mode. Power clipping, very powerful thing about Corel Draw. Definitely recommend you learn that and use it in your designs. Alright, so you get the idea. I'm just going to move this one down a little bit. Now, it, you so many things you can do with this. I mean, you could give it white borders. If we just put a background behind this for a second just to give you an idea. Send it to the back. Um, we could give that a white fill like that. I'm just going to group this, send it to the middle. And there, ungroup that. You can give these different colored uh, borders very easily on all of those shapes, such as white, make them a certain kind of thickness, maybe more than that, maybe a different color. So, very powerful to learn how to do that. 